welcome back. And today, we're talking about brake fluid. It's quite a simple job. All you're gonna need is some brake fluid, a spanner, a screwdriver, and a small piece of pipe, and some patience. Let's get on with it. So what we're gonna start with doing is by protecting everything. We'll get a piece of towel, just an old towel that you've got laying around, wrap it around the brake fluid reservoir, which is this thing here. We get another towel and we'll cover it with the tank, just so we don't get any brake fluid on that, because it can be quite corrosive. And we're just gonna grab a screwdriver and slowly try and work out these screws. Sometimes they can be a bit seized, so just make sure you've got a screwdriver that fits and you're applying a good amount of pressure and they should come out nicely. So once this, both the screws are out, it might be worth grabbing some tissue paper at this point and then laying that down because this is going to have brake fluid on and you don't want it getting everywhere. So you lay the parts out like this. Don't be tempted to turn these parts over because there's going to be brake fluid on the top and bottom. And just leave it like that. Then we get in and have a look at the fluid. This fluid looks quite old, so what we're going to do is grab some paper towel, dry the rest of this up so we're not pumping old stuff through the system. We're just going to put fresh stuff straight in. I'll show you. Okay, now we've got some paper towel. What we're going to be doing is just dunking it in here and trying to absorb as much of that fluid as possible. This can make the job a lot less messy because it's all caught up in the, in the towel. Try not to get it on your fingers. I would wear gloves if I had any, but I just don't have any. So I'm just trying to avoid getting it on my fingers. And put that straight in the bin. Now we've finished drying that out, we can just grab our brake fluid. This is marketed towards cars, but DOT4 is the same for bikes and cars. And that's what it says on the lid, so that's what I'm going to use. Just crack the cap on this. Important when you're changing your brake fluid to use a sealed container because this stuff is hydroscopic, which means it absorbs water, and that's one of the reasons why we change it, as well as it getting contaminated with um, all the rubber inside the lines and stuff like that. So just fill that up a little bit more than it says on the line, just because this is going to be the start of pumping it through. That's perfect. Now we can go down to the bleed nipple. Okay, this is where the piece of tubing and the spanner come in. What we're gonna do, take off this dust cover. This is the bleed nipple. We're gonna put a spanner over it. This 11 mil on the CB500. Slide the pipe over the top. Grab the jam jar, put that on there. And then put a little bit of fresh fluid just to cover the end of that pipe. This lacks a, a sort of a one-way valve so that no air can be caught back up into the pipe and go back into our system, making the brakes feel spongy and stuff like that. So to bleed them, what we're going to do, pull in the lever, open in this valve, squeeze in, and once we've got enough squeeze, we close it, and then we release this, like that. So we're squeezing, and then we release, the lever goes soft, we tighten it back up, we let go of that. So squeeze, open, close, release. Simple as that. You also want to pop up here and make sure that the fluid level is not getting too low. So occasionally just come up, get some more brake fluid and tip that in as well. And then return to pumping. Okay, so once the fluid in this pipe looks the same as the stuff you're putting in, and you're not seeing any air bubbles coming out of this, you're golden. We can tighten this back up, take off the pipe, pinching it at the end, because you don't want to break fluid going back all over our nice clean calipers. Shake off the pipe, take it out of there. Put the lid on that, dispose of that safely. Remove the spanner. Put the dust cap back on. Now pop up to the top, make sure your brake fluid's at the right level. So you can see it in the window and it's above the minimum. So just add a little bit more there. And then with the last bits of kitchen towel, we just want to get, as we remove them, so we've got this rubber bit first, we're going to dry that off with a bit of kitchen towel, just get rid of all the moisture and stuff that's in there. And then we can just place it back in there. Same goes to this plastic covering. And then finally, the cap. Put that on, grab your two screws. And 
these screws only need to be finger tight, so nice and lightly like that. And if you're doing this just before you go to bed, this is one last tip before I leave you for today. You pull in the lever, wrap the table cable tie round, tighten it up, and then leave it pulled in, not all the way, you don't want it back to the bar, just enough to the, like, engage the master cylinder. So any air that you haven't, if you have got any left in there for any reason, will just slowly work its way up overnight through up into the master cylinder, and then come out through the little holes at the top of this cap. It's just a little tip, and in the morning, you'll have nice firm brakes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.